Alright guys, we're back with more war. Well, we're playing the Evil Within 2 again. And I actually, we're doing letterbox mode and, yeah, the classic mode. I really like this, his old suit. It's actually really cool. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Cool. So we're gonna start. It, unfortunately, we can't do like nightmare mode actually, because I'm figured they figured that would be too easy. You have to start from scratch in order to do that. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that unless like years go by and I decide to play it again. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Okay, you don't find keys until chapter three. Harrison, combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Oh. Baker, team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Sounds good. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? Okay. So we won't be able to use our weapons just yet, ready, goop. A cat? I don't ever remember owning a cat. Oh, we got all of them. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? Beacon. 
My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Ruvik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind. But my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out. And now I'm in another stem. And I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive. Just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just... happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. For hiding the truth, I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh, but true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. 
people choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Kidman. Yes, yeah, Sebastian? What are you thinking about? Lily. Everything that's happening in here is because of her. Everyone wants her. Like she's just some object to be owned. She's the real victim here. Poor thing doesn't know what it's like to live a normal life. All these years with Mobius have probably destroyed her innocence. She's still a sweet little girl. I hope so. Her youth was stolen from her. She didn't get a chance to go to school, to have friends. All the birthdays and holidays she missed. It's heartbreaking to think of what she's been through. Lily was always so precocious, so smart and observant. She had this way of looking at you, where you knew that she understood you. Not just what you were saying, but what you were feeling, too. I always knew she was special. But I thought it was just because she was my daughter. Lily is special. She was found because of her off-the-chart scores on her standardized tests. I keep referring to her in the past tense. It still doesn't seem real to me that she's alive. And in here. She is. But you've got to save her before you can start to rebuild your relationship. I'm here to help. Just let me know what I can do for you. We've got two more to go, guys. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. Joseph. My partner. My friend. Sebastian? Calling back so soon, what's up? After all this time, there's something we've never talked about. Sounds ominous. What is it? Not what. Who? Joseph. Right. I know that you respected Joseph, and that he felt the same way towards you. I never had the opportunity to make amends about that. Things were... confusing after Beacon. I should have tried to get answers about what happened. I mean, I know what happened. Don't worry, I can't fault you for what you did. But I still blame myself for his death. You don't have to do that, Sebastian. Why not? You'd prefer that I blame you? 
You're the one who actually killed him. No, I didn't. I saw you shoot him, Kidman. I know you did, but... But what? Joseph isn't dead. What? Are you... No. It can't... What happened to him? Where is he? That's a long story. And a conversation for another time. When we're both safe. Just know that you don't have to blame yourself for his death anymore. I've gotta go, Sebastian. Let's finish this and we can talk later. Yeah. You bet we're gonna talk later. Yeah, and for that I'm... Again, I'm just wondering, like... Will that be DLC? Oh, Kitty didn't leave us anything for this one. Alright. <clears throat> just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Let's at least make it through the second chapter without... <laughs> Until we get our gun. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Yeah, all we have to do is just do this whole Stefano thing. And then we can go... Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? <sighs> Is this the right place? I'm not sure if this the uh, the alpha will be shown in cutscenes. I mean, not that one. That was a flashback, but I mean, what the... you know, other cutscenes. Search team. Baker. Whoa. The team leader. One 
bullet. Straight through the head. That's great. And then documents that you already picked up won't show up, which is good. Because now I'll be able to backtrack for any other ones that I have missed. And there's no keys in this chapter, by the way. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who was that? going on here What's that? Shit. Who the hell was that? Just like the search team member. I gotta find a way out of here. anything in here actually I think oh, I remember that noise I'm not talking so much in this one though because well I've already beat the game I kind of know what's coming 
right now I'm just kind of like engaged in the gameplay right now. I'm just looking at memorize mesmerization. I gotta say, this game actually wasn't completely scary or horror-like. There were some few good jump scares that got me, but other than that, it was like very suspenseful. But I liked it. I thought this game was really well done. Definitely better than the first one. It was more fluid in movement, I gotta say. Christ. All right, and here comes the chase. What the hell? No! 
Oh my god, what? Alright. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, sorry about that. I tamed the knight. You know, they just decided to just like. The game just decided to just. Ugh. What is this? Syringe. And those are all my weapons. Where were you when I needed you? And this is where they Maybe just give us back our weapons. Place. Lily, I hope you're here. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Magnum, it's been seeing something where it's the most power in the world and could blow your head clean off. I don't want to use it on myself. Are you nuts? Alright, let's use one of our syringes. There we go. I'll do the trick. Magnum, I don't have any weapons for that though. Alright, and then a shotgun. Maybe not the double button. Let's do this one. And then the agony crossbolt. And then yeah, this could be the top just in case we need it. All right. All right. I'll stop when I get to O'Neill in the safe house when we can get our goop upgrade. I don't know if there's any. Let me check if there's like. Hold on. Oh, okay. You don't start getting keys until you reach actually. You actually reach a union. Wait, where am I going? Oh, shoot. Oops. Don't worry, Sebastian. It's just a small, quiet town. Yeah. Too quiet. Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. for that kid. I said eat! There we go. I'm doing what's best for you. Ugh. 
Yikes, that's powerful. My goodness. I just meant to give you a little scrape. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Okay. And we can't get your goop. And this kid's probably, yeah, he's dead. Ugh. Alright, I've already got everything from upstairs. I would like files. members. Some of them are still alive then. Damn. But those things are everywhere. Yes, they are. Get in there and squeeze that guy for info. Stealth kills. Sure. <laughs> oh dear, I should. There's too many of you guys. I should really just sneak in there and not bother with you guys. Or I could just try to shoot you all. Hey everyone, what's going on? Oh Christ. I better not get too cocky. Be able to upgrade the Magnum. I mean, we'll be unstoppable when we upgrade that baby. Don't come 
any closer! Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No! A soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you, we're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonated the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. So you've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn. The time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? The wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We used the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? If Mobius sent you in here, shouldn't you know this stuff already? There were five members of your team? There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato, I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? I hope the others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? 
I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. Now think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. Okay. So we're just going to get up to the point where we first encounter the mirror, and then I'll stop. Takes the edge off. I just realized I didn't have my coffee today. So I went to the dentist. That's a good reminder. Alright. What can we do with our weapons? Yep, they offer us a chance to upgrade this. Which isn't that much. I want to upgrade this though. What do I want to upgrade? Mm, maybe the pistol. I don't know. This could be helpful. Increase the firepower. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the pistol in general. Where are these though? Oh, okay. Perhaps then there's also the crossbow bolt that I would want to upgrade as well. Well, this game said that it was going to give us like a tons of generous amounts of weapon parts, so. Hmm. Kind of want to do this too, though. I'll probably do the assault rifle last. That could be like really helpful for, for some of the enemies. Me out of here, Detective Castellanos. What a pleasant surprise! Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice to see a familiar face, even if that face has seen far too much. You look tired, Detective. I can help you get back in shape. Just like before. Yes, please. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to upgrade. It's just a matter of upgrading the remainder. Uh, yeah. We'll upgrade this. Now all that's left is this one, but we don't have any gel. 
We can upgrade that, and then we'll do that one to net the focus. And then, yeah, that's it. We have upgraded this guy to the max. I don't understand. This place. You. It's just like Beacon. But this isn't Beacon. This is Union. Is it? It all seems familiar to me. These walls, that chair, you. For me, it's as if nothing has changed at all. How am I ever? <clears throat> I got my lockers. Okay. All right, and then I'll just stop. I mean, yeah, everything else is just like going back and trying to find the main missions and then just getting the crossbow rolls. So I'll probably just do the main missions, if anything. And I'll have some fun on my own. Otherwise, I'm going to stop right here. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll post more videos soon enough. You know, leave a like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe. All of the above will help me tremendously. Anyways, bye-bye, guys. Until next time.